Hello everybody and welcome out to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at an expansion for Aeon's End called Past and Future. You'll notice down here this note actually says this is an expansion, not a standalone. Uh, this also is a Kickstarter edition of it, so I'm not sure if the Origins Evolution stuff is in this box, but there's also a side box of it, but sometimes it comes in here. And let me tell you, this box is heavy. So, Past and Future, thematically this is about uh, Breach Mages hundreds of years after the events of Aeon's End Legacy 2, the legacy of the legacy hold, and uh, also hundreds of years in the past, I guess, and they're going to learn about the past to affect the future, and uh, who cares, it's more Aeon's End deck buildy stuff. You notice the box, by the way, is a little bit smaller than a base box, but it's thicker, so the cards can kind of stand up on end. Goodness gracious, this is a thick box. All right, so uh, it looks like you got a few things going on here. First, like I said, thematically, the future. 100 years in the future. Oh, we're still doing the same thing. What a sad, sad society for hundreds of years. Oh, in the past thousands of years before the age of Gravehold, before the void itself, humanity lived in great cities in the world that was. Humanity prospered with a golden age of science and technology. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so learn from the past. Affect the future. So, oh my gosh, it has like... Whew! All right, well, I mean, if you want like Legacy Junior, that's what this is kind of looking like. I mean, not, not stickering in Legacy stuff, but like all of the decks of cards are going to have stop gaps on them. Like, really? Oh, these ones don't. Oh, here you go. These ones. All of these. Stop. This is the front of the PAS 3A deck. Do not open until instructed to do so. Whew. Ten envelopes containing mage and nemesis mats that are open during the expeditions. Okay, this is doing their expedition mode. Their, their mini campaigns. So I'm guessing it's five uh, in the past and five in the future. Narrative books of what's going to happen in either of them. Good grief. So if you want more campaign stuff, there is. Uh, still going to be more campaign stuff. This is, I don't know, I, I don't know if this is the last expansion, but hey, if you're making money, then then why not? So, new content. Five new keywords, develop. Some of these cards can be developed. It shows an ether cost in the top right. Interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. If this card is in the supply when the develop cost is paid, that card is moved to the develop zone. Use an empty space on the table next to the supply as the develop zone. If the card is in the develop zone, when the develop cost is paid, the player gains that card. Swap. Defeat. When you cause a minion to be discarded from play, you've defeated the minion. Defeated. Some minions have a defeated effect. Oh, interesting. Resolved by the player who defeats them. Knowledge. Uh, this is a new resource track with tokens. Okay. And then... You have a compendium of keywords, everything going on there. Treasure rules, so to the expedition system, if you haven't played that, they're basically, you get treasures of tier one, two, or three as you play through these little mini campaigns. And the mini campaigns are like three games or four or five games each. You know what? Oh. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Good golly. I don't even know what to, to open and what to not to open. Narrative book, introduction, pre-fight number one. There's a lot of story going on here. Look, story is cool and all, but woof. This is one of the reasons I'm struggling to get through the second hands in Legacies, because there's a lot of story. This doesn't look like, though, there's, like, branching decisions. If you don't want to see any of this, I mean, I'm not actually reading through. I'm just kind of curious what's happening. Okay, so at the end of each of these things, it looks like you just... You don't do big choose-your-own-adventures, this is just stories kind of preceding each of these, uh, each of the events here, and then something at the end of the fight. Okay, yeah, it tells you, open up these decks of cards and look at them and do stuff. These appear to be small little aids, reminders of what develop means and what swap means. You have... Breaches here. You'll notice that it doesn't come with the base stuff. As I mentioned, this is an expansion only. So, this is a closed artificial breach. 
curious to know what that's all about. And then these ones here are special open consuming breaches on cast. Place the spell under the breach, then if there are three spells here, discard them all and deal three damage. I like that! <laughs> and then what is this token down here? Link. Link. A link token allows two spells to be prepped to the breach it is on. Alright. And there's a lot of breach tokens and a lot of knowledge tokens, ether tokens. Hurrah! Um, oh my gosh. Like I said, I don't even know what to show or what to not to show at this point. A loose token. So, past 1, 2A, 2B, 3, 4. Future, future 2A, 2B, 3, and 4. So maybe a, a one branching decision or something, or maybe you open up one at the start and one at the end or something like that. So it looks like four, yeah, that makes sense. With three tiers of treasure, you do four games in a in an expedition mini campaign. Put this in front of the stop. F foot one, future, got it. Do not open until instructed to do so. I'm gonna do what I want. If you don't wanna see what's in here, too bad, kids. Here we go. Splintered Garnet. When you develop this, destroy a gem you played this turn. Interesting. Seer's Wrath. When you develop this, look at the top card of the turn order deck. You may place that card on the bottom or back on top. All right. Neat. Tethered Smite. Five damage divided however you choose among the nemesis and a number of minions. I like that a lot. And then these appear to be like kind of your specialty starting cards. You know, yeah. Cool. I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. More ends and stuff. Like I said, this is just a an expansion, so it's just a. Uh, I guess it's just maybe the stuff for the what am I thinking of the expeditions and stuff. You know what? This one doesn't say don't open yet. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open it yet. Here we go. Oh, actually, I wonder, Ori. This is uh, O-R-I -R -O -R at the bottom. So is that one of these Origins, Evolution? Oh, okay. So I think these packs that we're seeing here. Oh, this is Promos. That's what this deck is. This one here is the Evolution pack. And then this one here is the Origins pack. So yeah, the Kickstarter extras did happen to come in this particular box. And so you're just seeing a bunch of the cards here. So you're getting a, an unboxing within an unboxing, folks. Phoenix Flare, Phoenix Blaze, Phoenix Punch. Uh, cool. Rodenix, that looks like a slab of meat. I could eat that. All right, so yeah, so like I said, you're seeing an unboxing within an unboxing. Just more cards, more stuff to play with, more spells. Uh, deal four damage, you place this into your discard pile. Swap this card. For Gather Force. Interesting. Ally draws two cards. Grayfold gains a life. Swap this for Propel. Ooh. That's an interesting little... Zoom, 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 zoom. Alright. So anyway, you're seeing... Oh, and then these are the randomizer cards. What is... What are these? Entropy. So I'm guessing these are the villains. And I bet that there's some of the extra stuff here is going to be... Oh, that would make sense. So this is the Phoenix stuff from the Evolution set. And some of these are going to be Clouded Miser, Dorian, he's a dorky looking pirate guy that looks... <laughs> he seriously... Some of the art is better than others in, in Anne's End. This guy looks like he's at the Ren Fair. Anyway, so there's that guy. Where's uh, Entropy? Is that one of these? Oh, maybe he's a, he's a villain in here. So anyway, so all of this stuff over here, Kira and the Phoenix, um, that's going to be those little Kickstarter exclusivity things. What you're seeing over here then is going to be the story mode for um, what is it called? Past and Future. Well, there you go, folks. That's just a look here inside of the this box. Where's the lid? Here's the lid. There we go. And end, Past and Future. Thanks for coming by another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing and, and stumbling through this with me, your host, Chris Yee. MC Yee up in the house. Big Mac Daddy. Gonna... Keep it fresh. Um, bye.